Hi friends, it's Andrew here and I am talking about community today. I'm continuing our Why Youth Group series. Basically, you know, what do we get out of coming uh, to youth group uh, as individuals um, and honestly as a group? And so with community, uh, I'm really excited to talk about this topic because honestly, uh, it, if you, I'd be, I'd be shocked if you did, but if you heard me preach a couple weeks ago, uh, I did talk about how much I, uh, I'm passionate about relationships and people and community. It's like the thing that, that really gets me um, motivated and excited to, to, to show up in life every day. Uh, and with community, I imagine this is true for you. Like if I think about any chapter of my life, I think about the people and who, who I was with. Whether it was uh, in middle school and high school, being on the basketball team or volleyball team, uh, being in choir and band and musicals, um, whether it was, you know, classmates I had um, in the same uh, like AP classes all the time, whether it was uh, just my core friend group. You know, it was really defined by who was around me. Right, and we had memories, and we uh, we had uh, laughs and good times, and we talked to each other. We helped each other grow. We supported one another, and that's really what community does. Like, think about it for you. All the groups of people you're part of, you know, if you're in different sports, soccer, tennis, swimming, uh, basketball, whatever it is. Um, if you're in speech or debate, uh, if you uh, are in music inquire or anything like that, uh, this connection to people, right? And even if it's, obviously right now it's, <laughs> we're not meeting in person a lot, even if it's just like the greater community too. Like let's say you're super into painting. Maybe you're checking out some famous painters online, you know, watching their stuff. Maybe they talk through how, how um, they do their technique. Maybe it's different um, websites or message boards where you talk to people who like playing that video game like playing right? Or, or whatever. It's just the idea of, of people helping each other out, supporting each other, and living out these common interests and values. And, it, and it's no different for here at Youth Group. I think the importance of community, especially in our faith and in Christianity, it's one of those like big truths that totally resonates with who we are. Um, you know, no person is an island. Like if you think about God, <laughs> God is Trinity. God is three in one. <laughs> God the Father, and then Jesus the Son, and then the Holy Spirit. Even God's existence is God in community. Uh, and then you'll see it throughout Scripture. Um, <laughs> I've said this to a few people, but Ecclesiastes uh, is, is one of my favorite books in the Bible. It's, uh, it's in the Old Testament. I feel fairly confident you probably haven't read it. Um, but the reason I like it is Ecclesiastes, um, I feel like ends up being just very honest uh, and very real about life's experiences. And one of the verses in chapter 4, 9 through 12, it says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe to one who is alone and falls and does not have another help. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. And really, the simplistic translation is just, <laughs> things are better when you're in a group of people. Uh, if someone falls down, you can help them up. If someone's struggling, the other people can, can listen or uh, care for them. Uh, there's just strength in numbers. Strength, strength in numbers. And then another example I want to give uh, from the New Testament. This is in uh, Acts chapter 4, 32 through 34. Um, this, is kind of, this is a verse that's talking about kind of the early church. Um, and it basically says, The believers share the possessions. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul. And no one claimed private ownership of any possessions. But everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Uh, now, to summarize that one for, for you guys, 
I don't think it's necessary, necessarily saying we should all sell everything we have and then pool the money together and just live out of, off of that. But I think it's really just the hard attitude, this idea that these people are connected and committed to one another and want to be community. And it's basically, what do you need? Hey, my friends, people around me, what are your needs? Are they physical needs? Do you need food? Do you need shelter? Do you need clothes? We are going to provide that for you. We're going to make sure that happens so that you stay warm, you stay fed. Um, but even with that attitude, you could take it even further. Uh, what are your emotional needs? Are you, are you having a tough day? Um, did something tragic happen that you need to process? Um, right? Do you need, do you need to, to vent or anything like that? And I think that attitude really translates to what we're doing here at Youth Group. The idea that there's strengths in numbers, the, the idea that we need each other, that we can have memories together, um, but to connect and to hear each other's perspectives and lives and experiences and to be there for one another. Um, yeah, and ultimately, you know, I know our hope here is that you've experienced that already. Uh, we hope that we continue to have those experiences, but uh, youth group is about community. Really, it's about the people uh, in this room on the Zoom call uh, and how we can be there for one another and grow. So thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you guys soon.